What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to the first era of our relegation league. All right, so very important game here against Boston College. We got a good amount of recruits coming to visit, but there's a couple of these low lock guys that we're starting to uh, start to get some competition. Right off the top, we got Sledge. Boise State is now 270 points behind. They have skyrocketed up in the last couple of weeks. DeAndre Sanchez, SMU has shot up. They're only 95 points behind us, breathing down our necks. He's coming in for a visit today. If ever the defense is going to get some swats and picks. But what he needs out of us, we don't even get in a full season. Scott Reed, he's a pretty good strong safety. Obviously, he's a 78 overall. Now, he's slow. He's only got like 77 speed. Number five right now, it's not showing up, is Central Michigan. They're 100 points ahead of us. They, too, have offered them a scholarship. So we got ourselves some competition, it looks like. But we get a bigger bonus, but only by 10 points. So just in case we lose out on one of the other guys, at least there's an option. I'm also going after Dominic Martin. He's a Juco sophomore kicker, 79 overall. We are going to need another kicker. And Dodds I gave up on because Iowa was just blowing us out. All right, the pressure is really on us now. Obviously, this is a rivalry game. We got some recruits coming in. It's big for that. Also, I just took a quick look at some of the standings. Now, the most fascinating thing is USF is 6-0 right now in the SEC Glades. They've already beaten Georgia and Florida, and they just shut out Notre Dame last week. So they're legit. They're the number seven team in the country. So in that aspect, relegation is working. Nowhere else. But the ACC, Clemson is finishing in last place right now. And then Virginia is second to last because ECU is terrible and they're protected. This would be a good year to get promoted on up because I don't want to have to deal with Clemson. We can't even deal with who we got. I'm already worried about Boston College. You're going to throw Clemson at us? But hey, the stat boosts are working. Look, our offense is up to a 77. We are wearing the terrible, ugly white helmets because UMass apparently thought red, white, and blue needed to be their color scheme. So red, white, blue, black, maroon, it was all over the place. It was hideous. But that's why there's blue in the stands. Now, unfortunately, the recruits that we're trying to impress uh, are all defenders. We need to go for 250 passing yards, 100 rushing yards, 100 passing yards to a tight end to impress the recruits we got coming in. But I don't believe anyone's better than like a 68 on the offense. But still, let's try and impress them. Okay, that worked. Good start. Oh, good job. All right, we forced him a third and one. Please. Please, can we get the stop? All right, I'm not sure what this play call was. It was called strike. It was supposed to be like a blitz with some man coverage, and then the safeties were lined up deep back. That seems to not be good for us. Uh, why did I get stuck in the ACC? Uh, it's just all run-heavy teams, and we can't stop them. I noticed one thing I was flipping through the roster real quick. Uh, I forgot that Drew Royal is slow. He's got like 62 speed. So if we do use him as a starter, we're going to have to adjust how we play. Oh, there you go. All right, Frazier. We're just going to run the ball today. Except we need 250 passing yards. This is what I get for wearing these hideous uniforms, isn't it? Oh, he held on to it. I don't know how. He's broken. He was down. He was out. He was done for good. Oh, there we go. Montgomery got out. To the inside. There's a glare on my TV on that side of the screen, so maybe running that side is not a good idea. But luckily, I did manage to see the defender in time. Frazier. Oh, just barely not in. The other weird thing. So this is week uh, seven now. So first off, now we lost 500 recruiting points. Arkansas in the Sun Belt has already played seven of their eight conference games. They just played it one through seven. So this week they're playing Alabama. They have to finish it up later. Oh, Morris stole the touchdown. You jerk. Okay, please. Please cover somebody. 
Oh, force him to drop the ball. Thank goodness. They're run heavy. Can I count on you to go for a screen? Yes, I can. I didn't even get to finish the sentence before I answered it. Hey, X, you want to move? No, okay, cool. Should just run that one. Oh, Peterson in the backfield. The only upside with the running team is that we know we can blitz all the time. And they're not running a triple option, they just run the ball a lot. So it's a lot easier for us to manage. Or we're lucky, I don't know. Uh, I got... Oh, we got the sack. On a screen, we managed to get the sack. Freeman, again, the freshman. I'm glad I got those guys. Ooh, cut it inside. Big run there. If I was like a hair over, I actually would have collided with the guy getting blocked. They've only got 28 total yards, but because of that pick, they're tied with us right now. Buffalo's up 41-3 on Navy. 42-3. Five minutes left in the second quarter. Right, like it's not as they're smoking them, it's not even halftime. Really starting to feel worse about myself now. Come on. Oh, can't quite. We're just out of field goal range. Coach is going to make us go for it anyways. Maybe a counter instead of a read option. Yeah, there you go, Frazier. He carries that up. EA smash time. Oh my god, Fuller, take that in. Beautiful. All right. Going to take the lead here. Whoops. I'm going to have to waste time out. I hit the wrong button. So it's... You hit R1, and then you hit triangle to sim the next possession. Uh, I keep hitting triangle first. Ooh, okay, that got there. One more to stop, D. I don't know if you can do it, but that'd be great if you can. No, they can't. Thank Ooh. you! I just put it on strip uh, to be aggressive, and they actually got a strip on that. All right, I guess I shouldn't go conservative. I saw you, Montgomery. I was just waiting for a moment. Oh, Appalachian State is also killing it. Uh, they are 5-0 and or 6-0 and right now, and 3-0 and in their conference, so they're looking really good, too. Oh, I, I went to hit square. I didn't realize how many people were around me. Oops. Oh, that, um, that got lofted more than it should have. I hit a bullet pass, and the game didn't register it. And he's still going. And it's a good thing we forced that turnover, because it was so helpful. All right, good. We, we forced the incompletion, at least. I don't understand. I just don't understand. All right, they're gonna, well, all of that, and they're still only gonna get a field goal out of it. And they return the kick for a touchdown. Sweet. Nope. Ooh, Frazier with a broken tackle. You don't usually see those out of us. All right, you go ahead and leave all this wide open for me. We have 103 passing yards. We're aiming for 250. Screw those offensive linemen, I guess. Oh, Montgomery, there we go. There's a big play, finally. And more in for the easy rushing touchdown. Oh, cheap shot at the end. Over pursued. Dang it. He might be gone. No, okay. Oh, I got back there. I came running up and just dove. They gonna take the points? No, of course not. That would, that would be too easy. Shut him down. Yes! Excellent stop by the defense. Beautiful pass to Hawthorne. Even on the run, got it off. 
And more with the fumble. And they're going to run. So that defensive stop did a lot of help, didn't it? Jesus Christ. We just find new ways to ruin these games. Oh, I slowed him down. Really? You're going to pass that backwards? That was your big plan? All right, well, we're still clinging to a one-point lead. There's only three minutes left. Forget the recruits at this point. Oh, good return, Henry. But let me guess, that's going to be... I, that looked like a face mask. Watch it be clipping. Yep. Every time, without fail. On Mason, of all people. Now I'm kind of afraid to run the read option. Barnes got open, though. Freaking wildcat. I need to go through this playbook and get rid of the wildcat. Like, just completely eliminate it. It's always by surprise. I can't actually tell it's a wildcat out of the playbook. I just thought it was another read option. Or another counterplay. Oh, somehow we managed to maneuver through all that, get the first down. That is clutch. Now they're going to start burning timeouts. Uh, it's looking like this one's not going to be a doubleheader, guys. Seems I've had to play every single down, basically. Hawthorne wide open. Broke one tackle, but there were two of them on him. Well, we got 100 yards rushing, so... That'll help with those recruits, I guess. All right, if we can get this five yards here, that's ball game. There it is. That's it. Scumbag Shane. I have no idea how we caught that one. And just the one last touchdown because I'm a scumbag. Well, we were allowed one non-doubleheader because we got the FCS game out of the way early. So, looks like this was it. All right, so stats on the day. Moore went 16-24, 213 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Not impressing the recruit there. Frazier with 56 yards. Moore with 52 and two touchdowns. Morris, one for a touchdown. Receiving Hawthorne at four for 50. Frazier, three for 27. Montgomery, three for 49. Mason, two for 17. Two drops. I don't get it. And Fuller, one for 31 in the touchdown. Defense, Low led the team with four tackles. Peterson with two TFLs. Freeman, Walker, Huff, Skinner, and Oliver all with one apiece. Freeman with the only sack on the day. And Fry managed to scoop up a fumble recovery, which I think he forced himself. All right, before we wrap this one out, let's, uh, let's advance a week and see if we get any of these recruits to sign. All right, well, we got the right guard, the cornerback, and the tight end all to sign, so the depth is locked up. Now, unfortunately, what we need is these other people to sign. They did get over a thousand points for their visit, at least. A bunch of other people ready to go. Let's get these all scheduled. Well, Boise State just took the lead over Sledge. With the visit, we have a somewhat bigger lead over SMU now. Looks like OU's going after Elliott now. Yeah, it's us. We're chasing right after Central Michigan. Not worried about it. And the kicker, we got the lead. I'm thinking Sanchez we're not gonna get unless SMU's visit goes terribly. And even then, I still don't like our chances. We need kitchen sink, like, now. I know it's risky. We're going to bring everyone in we can against Rutgers here. It's almost one of those things, if we got the points, it'd be better to just put them into uh, the royal treatment. I'll be upset if we don't get Sanchez, because he seems like he's really good. 88 speed, 86 XL. Warren's definitely the speedier of the two. But if we don't get Sanchez, we got a good lead on Hill. He'll just be a slower to strong safety. Warren's going to go over to free safety. Sledge, I would love. He's so fast. We need this visit to go well, but again, we're not good at impressing cornerbacks. Ray, he's a Juco. What is he, junior? He's going to play defensive line for us. Hopefully, he makes a good D-tackle. That'll buy me some time because I can't find a good D-tackle this year. Reed, I'm not worried about Central Michigan. We are going to get Kitchen Sink eventually, and we'll take him over. If we can sign most of these guys and keep either Sledge or Sanchez, we're... We're in the conversation going into the offseason. Then I can just throw my full 10,000 points at them, and that'll be that. All right, Rutgers beat Army, and then they've lost to everyone else so far. 
I can't even say they face a tough schedule because UVA is the team that I thought was getting relegated over in the ACC Coastal. And hey, we already matched our win total from last year. So if we beat Rutgers here, we're in contention for everything else. And on top of that, we're going to have to play through the full season. No Sims. We are going to have to play the Oregon game. But that'll wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Are you sad it's not a double header? I'm sorry, but it was a shootout back and forth the whole game. So I, that episode would have been like an hour long. So yell at me down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.